Okay, Doki, we have a combo maker. Apparently we got a combo there. We got the 25 hit combo there. Uh, 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 oh, we got the boots. I should equip those. Oh, one nice thing about this game is they put an equip menu in here, so you can actually equip stuff mid-fight. I'm gonna put those on Jude. I'll put the cape on Mila. I'm hoping to get Jude's restore uh, message here coming up, but I don't think we will until he actually uses it to fight. And that will come up for a while, because I'm pretty sure it's a reviving ability. I never really used it that much, because I was almost... I, it never really came up in playing for me, for some reason. Uh, normal attack and art chains. Whenever you use a link... an uh, art... Uh, after a normal attack, your link partner will help pay the TP cost of the art. When you use a normal art, after an art, your link partner will share the t in the TP recovery effect from the normal attack. Therefore, by alternating between normal attacks and arts in your combos, you can spend your TP more effectively. Bunch of stuff. Yay. Black feathers. You seem to know your way around a fight. Yeah, I studied self-defense when I was a kid. They say that even the best trained soldiers may panic in the face of actual combat. Yet you seem completely together. Well, I had a friend I trained with who used to shout sparring time and attack me out of the blue. So it's probably thanks to her. I see. I'd always wind up on the ground covered in bruises. I'm sorry to dredge up such painful memories. What? No, it's not like that. Don't all bullied children say that? Bullied? That's not what... Wait. Was it? <laughs> oh, hilarious. Uh, there was a level up here. <clears throat> Alvin has stuff to learn. Let's give him whatever this other art is. I think this is... Yeah, Guardian Field. Yes, it's a good one. It's a healing slash damaging move. So, uh, Guardian Field. Heal nearby allies while damaging foes. When charged, becomes the Guardian Grove art, which is just a wider area version of the attack. And now we'll just go down the physical attack so he gets more attack power. Uh -oh, um, yeah, so I think I'll just switch back to Jude, because I'm pretty sure he had Jude's restore ability only kicks in when I'm attacked from behind. Uh, when I'm actually killed in a fight, so my character actually goes down and has to be revived. I can use a life bottle, but I'm pretty sure Jude will actually just revive the downed character. Yoink. Here we go. All right. Sweet. Okay, so let's move on. I think. Uh. Okay, so yeah. I'm trying to think of other stuff to sort of say right now. Um, as you're going through, you can see the light blue, the blue and the white icons that are on the field. I already mentioned the blues are the ooh shinies and the whites are the bags. Every time you leave an area and come back in, they have a chance of respawning. Uh, they won't always respawn, but sometimes they will. So, uh, this bag didn't respawn that was here, but, uh, I'm sure if we keep walking around, we might actually find, uh, a new shiny spot or a new, uh, or a new bag that we didn't have before. Um, I'm not sure if I have to completely leave a region or go away two spots to get it or just come back at a later time. I don't think, I don't see any new shinies around here, so I don't think they've respawned yet. But, uh, there's no new bags or anything like that, so I'm guessing you just have to go, uh, I'm not sure about the mechanic exactly, but I think you might have to leave the region entirely, like, the fe the area we were just in, uh, and this field right here are the same area, and now we're into Sieve Haven again, which is, like, a different area entirely, so I'm betting if we go back in, we'll probably be able to find the new items there. Chests never respawn, though, so. Those monsters won't be tinkling in your water supply anymore. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. And that's how it's done. More where that came from, too. Lots of people with problems out there. And gall to make them go away. You're a real pro at this, Alvin. Hey! Hmm. No fever. How are you feeling? I don't seem to have any strength. Um, have you been eating properly? 
I've never eaten. Ever? Through Sylph, I drew life from the air. With Undine's power, I received sustenance from the water. What's she talking about? I guess the spirits gave her all the energy she needed. Well, now you're gonna have to nourish yourself the old-fashioned way. I see. So this is what you call hunger. <laughs> Fascinating. So, should we rest at the inn? Now that you mention it, I could use some grub myself. The auto item system has been unlocked! Characters with uh, set to the auto control mode will use items during battle to provide support based on various conditions. These conditions can be set from the strategy menu. With the right settings, you can give yourself a huge advantage in battle. Several items have already been preset for you, so try, and, try them out and get a feel for the system. The item sphere! So this is something I rarely touch, but I feel like I should just because it's improved it a lot better. So we're in the strategy menu now. Uh, right now, I'm going to change all these to link often, so they will link as often as they can. So uh, you can, in this game, you get four play four uh, players, uh, characters in a battle with you. Um, so that's two sets of links, and uh, AI unit AI will actually link with each other. So if you just set them to link often, the two of them will link as they see fit. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we go down here to the auto item, which they're all set to use. I recommend just leaving it on there because there's actually uh, titles associated with this stuff, so you can improve your auto item usage. Um, if you push start, you come up with a system. It's during combat characters who are set to auto control will use items and uh, certain conditions are met. Higher priority items should be ha set higher up on the list. Make sure to keep an eye on how many of each item are left. <clears throat> so as you can see here, whenever we have a, a, uh, whenever we have a dead party member, we will use a life bottle. Don't know why that is set to two. We should just use them. Uh, actually. Save them, use them. That could be used either way. But uh, you later on, or actually, we got more now. Yeah, that sort of stuff. Eventually, you unlock more slots. Yeah. So that's a thing. I'll just turn that off for now. Um, but yeah, this is this is sort of a, if anybody has played uh, Final Fantasy XII with the Gambit system, this is pretty much the exact same thing. So if a, me a player has less than 70% TP, use an orange gel to revive their own TP. That sort of stuff. So that's how that system works. You can set it up quite easily with, um, there's a item called a Panacea bottle that you'll get later on, which cures all status ailments. So if you can set it so if a status ailment is inflicted, use the Panacea bottle. Uh, most of the time though, your characters, your healing characters will actually automatically just use their spell on you to revive you or you leave your status, so it's not always needed. So, uh, anyways, talk to the uh, oh, intelligence work. <sighs> that was quite a sigh. So seriously, you guys are spying for Ajul, right? What? Of course not. I've never heard of the Military Powers Act being used against anyone other than Ajul spies. Y you're thinking too much into this. Why are you so concerned about this? Unless you're spying for Ashagol. No, no. I was just thinking that if you were spying for Ajul, maybe you could use your connections to score me some high-paying intelligence work. Sorry to disappoint you, but I assure you I will pay your fee. You just have to wait a little bit longer. Fair enough. But even with your special friend discount, the interest is piling up. <laughs> okay, and the end. Welcome. Three rooms, please. But before that, can we get something to eat? Oh, my apologies, but our cook isn't in yet. Hey, is she okay? Can we at least use your kitchen? Yes, please. Help yourself. Your friend looks like she's about to pass out. My stomach, it really is growling. <laughs> and here I thought that was just a silly human expression. Hey, 
Not bad. Not bad. It's good. I quite enjoy ingesting calories with you. Humans should learn to cherish these simple pleasures. This might be her first time sleeping, too. And apparently she never ate before today, either. Who in the world is she? She claims she's Maxwell. That Maxwell? Yeah. She's apparently a spirit in physical form. Well, not just any spirit. The Lord of Spirits. Wielder of the Four Elements. The Eldest Spirit. Maxwell has many names. And now we add Mila to that list? She's supposed to be the spirit Maxwell? You gotta be kidding me. Is Maxwell really that mighty? Of course. That's why this is so hard to swallow. I grew up hearing bedtime stories about Maxwell. What in the world would a spirit like that be trying to destroy? Trying to destroy? What are you referring to? She called it a Spyrex, I think. The device from the laboratory. Hmm. Maybe I should just ask Mila about it. I don't know. You have a nasty habit of poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Your cursed curiosity made me a wanted man too, you know. <sighs> well, think hard before asking, okay? Yeah, you're right. Good morning, Alvin. Sorry you had to carry me up there. Don't worry about it. Just part of the job. Oh? <laughs> so now what are you gonna do? Well... Good morning. Good day, Jude. I was just about to share my plans with Alvin. What is it? I'm thinking of returning to Nia Kara. Is that your hometown? More accurately, it's where my shrine is. If I go back, I might be able to resummon the four. So, she really is Maxwell. This is where you come in, Jude. Will you accompany me to Nia Kara? What? It's true that you brought your current situation upon yourself, but I bear some of the blame as well. I'll put in a good word for you with the people of Nia Kara. I'm sure they'll look after you. Wow, you've put a lot of thought into this. Yes. Remember when you told me I seemed unconcerned? I decided to take that to heart. Mila, you don't need to practice your swordplay anymore? No need to concern yourself with my martial abilities. Well, if nothing else, you know how to swing the pointy end. Okay. I'll come with you. Good. You needn't worry. A little more practice wouldn't hurt, though. You think so? Better safe than sorry. Come find me once you're ready to go. Wait, you're coming with us, Alvin? Why not? I've come this far. Hey, Mila? Hmm? Thanks. Okay, so during that cutscene, you'll notice there was a little text in the corner basically saying Jude's or Mila. Those are segments that are only in Jude's portion of the cutscene, so um, I'm just not going to walk over there quite yet. Got a cutscene there, I just want to explain this. Um, so yeah, if there's a Jude, a Jude story in the corner, or a Mila story in the corner, that means that that part of the cutscene is only viewable from their story. Uh, anything that does not have the lettering, like Jude story or Mila story in the corner, is in both. So if there is a name in the top right corner, 
it basically means that's only in their storyline. So that portion where Mila was sleeping on the table was only viewable to Jude because Mila was asleep and couldn't pay attention, and Jude wasn't there for when uh, Mila was talking with Alvin before reaching, heading downstairs, like before he showed up, right? So those portions, that's sort of the basic idea behind it. There's portions of this game where, like, one of them would be talking with somebody else and Mila won't be, like, one of them won't be around. And they'll both, and you'll see the the scene in both playthroughs, like some of the side scenes, especially, like some of the sub events. Like I can think of a couple where uh, Alvin and Jude will be talking about something happening in the, as a sub event, not during the main story. Mila will have like not be around at all, and uh, it'll be st it, it's still in Mila's story, like still in Mila's playthrough. So that sort of stuff will happen. But basically, if one of the, if a name's in the corner, it's only that playthrough. That's what I'm trying to get across here. So. Yeah, anyways, continuing on. Ready to hit the road? Mila, you said it's north of here? How far? Less than half a day's flight time. If we could fly using Sylph's power. Oh, well, I'm afraid my wings are, you know, non-existent. I hope we can find a place to rest along the way. The map showed a village in that direction, so we should be okay. Either way, we can't just stay here. We must press forward. I know, I know. Hey, guess what? We're gonna stay here for a little bit. Creeping suspicion. Is Milo really that Maxwell? She does act a bit nutty, but she looks normal enough. I think it's true. When I first met her, Mila had the four great spirits with her. What? Get out of here. No, seriously. Fire spirit Efreet? Water Spirit Undine, Wind Spirit Sylph, and Earth Spirit Gnome. It was the first time I'd ever seen them in person, but there was no mistaking who they were. That's a mighty exclusive club. Can't imagine they hang out with a lot of mortal girls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, we got a couple of things to do here. I'm gonna quickly go back into the inn, though. Uh, cause there's, uh, one thing I wanna go out and do! Now we have access to the food shop! Food shop is amazing! We can buy recipes, use them, and then at the end of, uh... At the end of every fight it will activate or whatever stipulation is needed. Um, it'll just use one of the, uh, servings, basically. So different, uh, recipes will last for a different amount of time. Uh, don't know why I'm... There, level three. Good. I just want to increase that because now we get more stuff at the item shop, uh, weapon shop, uh, level three, cool, and that'll give us another weapon, I think. That's another weapon. Discount! Uh, I think I want to, yeah, I just want to do that so I can get, uh, I think that uh, gives me access, yeah, lazy iron, that's, uh, the next weapon for Alvin. Um, armor shop. Uh, he's crystal, so let's do that, and let's pump it up. I own 13 of these things? Holy crap. Bam. Uh, yeah, that gives us the armors for those two. Uh, accessory shop. Um, whatever, I don't really care much about the accessories right now. Stun bracelet. And the food vendor. That's the important one I want to put money into. Uh, does that give us... Uh, okay, we do have the item I want to get, but I think I want to pump some money into the food vendor. Because, uh... Good, I got something else that's good. Because the food vendor, the main thing I get when I'm here is uh, the experience increasers. These two are the first ones we get. So after every battle, we get an extra 30% experience, and we get one for four battles and one for seven battles. These are, like, amazing, and I recommend you just use them as soon as you can. Um, currently, um, you want to buy, no matter what, right now, you want to buy the small, a small version of the soda rice, because it's needed for a mission later on. Uh, we're going to be using them right away, so uh, you want to buy one of those anyway. No, whether or not you want to use the actual stuff, you still want to get that for the event. So anyways, let's start talking to people. Do you know anything about porringes? I've heard they grow around here. If you find a nice one, I'd like to buy it from you. Sure, I will accept. You, so you bring me a porringe? Wonderful! Uh, this is a longer term side quest we can't complete yet. We'll have to do a bit more storyline to uh, 
get the item and then get back here. So well, that one will be completed right away. Ah, uh, this girl again. More monsters have taken up residence at the lake west of the sea of the sea haven. I asked a local mercenary to take care of them, but I'm afraid the monsters got to her. Could you uh, could you go to the lake and rescue her, please? Sure. Thank you yet again. Same sort of mission. I have to go to the same spot and kill things. Anyways, you. The head chef and, uh, said I need to learn how to make soda rice. Unfortunately, I don't have the first clue how to go about it. Could you help me? Accept the request. Thank you! If I could just eat it once, I should be able to figure out how to make it. Well, let's just talk to you immediately and give you the small version I just bought. So, small for soda rice. Huh, so this is soda rice. Oh, I see. They use miso as a secret ingredient to balance the soda and rice flavors. Thanks, now I'll be able to grow and improve as a chef. Wonderful news! Uh, and we got the bushy eyebrow accessory. <laughs> okay, this game has the accessories to modify how your character looks. Go into your ex go into your equipment, go down, you can bring up this area and you get the extra additions and such. This is the first one. I'm going on Alvin just because it's not really viewable. This isn't really seeable on either Jude or, Al or uh, Mila, but... <laughs> Oh, yeah, can't really see him on these two, especially, yeah. They're, they're just most prominent on Alvin, because his hair is out of his face. Anyways. Yeah, yeah. 